What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Once Upon a Time. Episode 16. Let's get into it. Nothing. Stick to the road. Where did it come from? Cyclone must have dropped it. Dear, what are you doing? A little baby. Oh, the poor thing to the wolves. She's beautiful. Ah! Well, damn. She did that. She knocked that tree away. It was just the wind. She's only a babe and she needs our you know, help. how big that fucking Can thing we was? Keep her? That's not a good idea. It's not like us. She's not. We're going to take care of her. Stick to the road, or we'll never make it to the Emerald City before dawn. What should we call her? What about Selena? She's going to be the happiest baby in all of Oz. We're going to Oz, bitch? We going to Oz now? Okay. This is a serious moment. Can't even be at his own son's burial. That's sad. You spent so long groomed Regina to cast your curse, spent 28 years waiting for it to be broken. Also, you could be with your son and now he's gone. Tell me, Rumpel, was he really worth all that trouble? Every bit of it. He was family. Something you know nothing about. Damn. Fucking lead again. Oh. How's that father? Mr. Spot, no matter what you feel on the inside, oh, I hate it. always put on a good face. I know, father. Oh, Travis, child! Don't touch me! I'm sorry, I can't help it. You mean you can't control it? Well, maybe if you could let me learn how to. Then everyone would see what you really are. Wicked. How can you say that to your own daughter? Because you're not my daughter! Rude! I said it. Her eyes are so pretty. I think your mother's gone, I could finally tell you. What are you talking about? You know how a child found you in, a, in the woods in a basket dropped out of a tornado. Your mother wanted to take you in. It was lulled by your beauty for the surface. There was something else. Your wickedness. Well, I'd rather be wicked than a sad old drunk. Something child. has changed within me. Something is tears. not the same. You put on a good face. Make me breakfast. Nah, bitch. Nah, no. nah, 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 nah. Nah, you got me I'll fucked up. You, anymore. you got me you fucked up. You gonna do all that and then say, I make me breakfast? The person who can help me find a family that wants me. The Wizard of Oz. No wonder she, why she is the way she is. She got daddy issues. Fuck Perhaps me. I should now make me breakfast. The bitch. Witch is back. She'll get more than a dart when I find her. I know you're hurting, but there are better ways to grieve Belfire's death than letting anger overcome you. I'll stick with anger, at least until I deal with Selena. Vengeance isn't the thing that's going to make you feel better. It's going to make this town safer. Trust for might make her feel better. That's really all I can do for him right now. Have you tried talking to the boy? As far as he's concerned, I haven't seen Neil since he left me in jail. Anything I tell him about his dad being a hero sounds like I'm making it up just to get him to feel better. Perhaps I could talk to him. Uh, uh, what? Leather conditioner and eyeliner? Ah! <laughs> I knew Bay as a boy. <laughs> Perhaps Henry would like to hear what his father was like when he was his age. You'd really do that? Aye. Could have the boy make peace with his father's passing and me. Be careful. Selena's still out there. I assure you, nothing will happen to the boy while he's in my charge. It's the lion tattoo. It's what was prophesized. He's your soulmate. I know. I saw it yesterday. And you didn't tell me. Well, right now, I have better things to do than to gossip about boys. <laughs> Care for a drink? I, uh, I do hope I didn't upset you yesterday. Uh, the Robin Hood Tinkerbell. I've been wanting to meet you for a very long time. Uh, no, you didn't upset me. Found a clue trail that needed to be followed. One that didn't lead anywhere. I don't daytime drink. Oh, well. Uh, oh, well, you missed it out. Some evening, then. What was all that about? If you had been open to the possibility of love, maybe your life wouldn't have turned out so... So what? How did my life turn out? Why am I even bothering? A little dark, a little... How do you hold up? Little... How do you think? Oh, my mom. Sad, I guess. 
Just my condolences. I'm so sorry I missed the funeral, but I could never pass up a wake. Oh, did I miss the speeches? Shall I make one? This mm, bitch I just strolled on it. Responsible. No, no, too many people will get hurt into your mother. Anyone who tries to interfere with my plan is going to have to deal with the dark one. Don't come any closer. Don't worry. I'm not here for your baby. Not today, anyway. Then why are you here? Now that my cover's blown, I'll finally pay a visit to my little sister. Who the hell are you talking about? Why, you, of course, Regina. What? I'm an only child. Cora lied to you, Regina. I'm your sister. Half, if you want to get technical. Why should I believe anything you say? Well, you shouldn't, which is why I brought a gift to help. <laughs> I don't want a gift from you. But you shall have it. You see, my gift to you is this sad, sad day. Use it to dig into our past, Regina. You need to learn the truth, and you must believe it. And then, meet me on Main Street tonight, sundown. A duel? Then what? Then I'll destroy you. This isn't the Wild West. No, dear. It's the Wicked West. And I want everyone to be there to see the evil queen lose. I don't lose. <laughs> Neither do I. One of us is about to make history. See you tonight, sis. I mean, that scene was pretty fucking dope. First of all, Zelina uh, plays no, evil no, very well. Uh, if you kill Regina, we gonna no, have some fucking bad. problems. My mom always seems to pawn me off on a friend's Point blank, boat period. She's working her case. I wanted to bring you here. Why? Well, you might not believe this, but your father and I were mates long before I met your mother. Really? You knew my dad. What was he like? Hop aboard and you'll find out. Did anything oh, she about changed her mind, I guess. I think I would remember if my mother told me she had a love child with a scarecrow. And he wants you dead. Any idea why? I never even met her. Just oh. don't do something to piss her off. There's the missing year. Maybe you did something to her then. It's starting to sound an awful lot like you're all on her side. Where are you going? To find out exactly what this witch thinks I do. I fucking cannot with Regina. <laughs> she is so funny. That's fancy as fuck. I've been expecting you. How did you know I was coming? I am Oz the Great and Terrible. You've come because you wish to find your family. Can you help me? I will show you what you seek to know. But I warn you, it won't be easy for you. Is that my mother? Her name was Cora. She gave birth to you in another land. A cyclone struck and carried you to this world. Why did she abandon me? You couldn't give her the one thing she truly wanted. The ability to become royalty. Who's that? Your sister, Regina. Cora's still a hoe. Still a I've bitch. Got a sister. Your sister could do what your mother wished. Regina became queen. Who is that man? That is Rumpelstiltskin, a very powerful wizard. The most powerful in all the realms. Like you, Regina has the gift of magic, but she has been unable to develop it. Magic is a gift. Yes, and he's trying to teach her that. He should be teaching me, not her. I need to meet this wizard. I want one okay, of them well, green things. Whatever you desire, just tell me how to get there. Where y'all get that? Look down. Home goods. When you click your heels three times, those slippers will take you wherever you desire. That's well, not how it what goes. What do you want in return? Simply ask that you bring me something of Rebel Stiltskin. Be careful. It is one thing to wonder about your past, but another to become envious of things you cannot have. That's kind of ugly. But when she turned green, though. Well, this is a day of surprise. I thought that would take you at least until. You're not Regina. Who the fuck are you? No, I'm Cora's other daughter. That's not possible. I'm Zelina, her firstborn. We'll see about that. Well, hello, dearie. A day of surprises, indeed. Regina, is she telling the truth? I don't know. I haven't found anything yet. Are you sure that Cora didn't booby trap her stuff? I mean, I don't think that a sleeping crisp would be good for the baby. David Bell and Tinker locking down Main Street. Regina, did you find something? Uh, a letter. What does it say? Zelina is my sister. What is it? Nothing. Don't worry about it. My fight, I got it handled. What the hell was in that letter? Who the daddy is? If we position someone there, there and there, we'll have the whole street covered. Who the daddy? No Rumpel? Why order gold to level half the block? So they really are sisters. She found a letter in her vault confirming it. Something in the letter upset her. Should we try to find it? Right. Rumpel the dad. We could help whether she wants it or not. But you just said we can't interfere. Because Zelina has gold on her side. We just need to get his dagger. You saw Zelina, she practically has a clue to her hand. What if I can get through to Rumpel without the dagger? It's worth a try. Regina can't do this alone. What the fuck does we the letter say? Like this. Did the charming send you to give me a pep talk? 
No, nothing of the sort. After Zelina's threat, I decided to patrol the woods in case she decided to build the ranks of her simian army. How are you holding up? I'm not a flying monkey, if that's what you mean. So you're going to tell me what's in that letter you've been staring at? What letter? This one? I'm a pickpocket by trade. I spent many years learning how to rob from magician. You're lucky I'm saving my strength for that witch. I think deep down you actually want to talk about what's in there. Well, it makes you think you know me so well. I'd be charred to a crisp by now if you didn't. True. So can I read it? Not stopping you. Oh, yeah, read it out loud. Read it out loud for the rest of us. Cora, dear, I finally got my hands on your firstborn. Never thought I'd find her, did you? Now I know why. She's the most powerful sorceress I've ever encountered. Even more powerful than you. Stunning in every way. Rather complimentary, I'd say. Why is this troubling you? I've seen that letter a hundred times before. In my darkest moments, I'd go to it for comfort, for solace, for a boost when I needed it. Because I, because I always thought it was about me. It's about Zelina. Rumpelstiltskin thinks she's more powerful than I am. Why care what that imp thinks? Because if the man who taught me everything I know about magic thinks she is stronger, then there is no way I can win this. He taught you everything so that you could beat her. Cora never mentioned me. A firstborn daughter. I think that's something I would have remembered. Now there's a spell, a curse, I've been working on for a very, very long time. Now I foresaw that, that that curse could only be cast by Cora's daughter. That's why you've been training Regina. You thought she was going to cast the curse? Until today. Shall we see what you can do? Magic isn't about what you see, dearie. It's about what you feel. Back up. Oh. You'll have to dig deep. Being that close ain't cute for chance. nobody. What am I meant to do? Find me. Over here, dearie. Close, but not close enough. Magic comes from emotion. Simply think of a moment that makes you seethe with anger. Use it to fuel that magic, yes. I learned that a long time ago. Over here, there is. Finding out that my mother abandoned me. Who did that? Who's the father? My sister got everything that I ever desired. It was all just handed her that she doesn't even know what she has. Ding dong. There it is. Those nails. I can feel it in your nose. <sighs> Sorry, I lost control. And now you need to think of a moment of happiness to rein in some of that anger. What do you think about? Well, like you, I was abandoned as a child. Some spinsters took us in. Whenever we'd finished a the job, they used to bake meat pie. The entire hovel would fill with the most wonderful smell. And after they'd cooled, they always used to let me take the first bite. And as the food warmed my belly, that was the only time I forgot who I really was. A boy who wasn't wanted by his papa. Then I know my moment. What's that, dearie? The moment I stopped feeling like someone who wasn't wanted. The moment you agreed to train me. <laughs> <laughs> Rumpy, you double crossing. We're clear. There's no sign of Zelina. It looks like she's still keeping gold in the cellar. He gone. Rumpel? Bow. I've come to free you. Relief. You've no idea what that witch will make me do to you. <laughs> I'm not afraid. You could never hurt me. That's futile. The as door wasn't even that, locked? I cannot leave. I'm not leaving without you. It's not worth the risk. Just try. Look, you just have to believe in us. Run. What? Run! Go! <laughs> Don't mind me. Carry on. I was just enjoying the show. Belle? Over here! She was toying with that. Zelina sends a message. She will face Regina without interference. The next time you try to stop her, I will kill you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, you won't. No, you ain't. We dealt with enough. I think I've tried every night in here. Over this past couple episodes. When do we get to the part about my dad? Just a few moments longer. There. Come here. What's this? That, my boy, is a sextant, a tool used by sailors to navigate. Like a GPS? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it measures our position using the stars. I'm not sure that's what a GPS does. What does it have to do with my dad? Well, I told him to navigate with one, just like I'm going to teach you. Were you both in the Navy or something? No, Bay, Neil, just a boy when I taught him. Aren't you the same age? It seems like the more you guys tell me about my dad, the less things make sense. I I just want to hear something about him. Does it make him sound like he's made up so I like the guy? Your mother isn't keeping things from you because she doesn't want you to know the truth. I know. How am I supposed to feel anything about him being gone? I don't know what he was like while he was here. That's true. Fair enough, mate. What I haven't told you is why I taught your father to sail. Because he just lost his father. I thought the sea would help ease his sorrow. Wait, he lost his dad too? Something dark and evil when he wasn't much older than you. Really? Indeed. You see, you might not think you know much about your father, but you've more in common with him than you realize. I kind of love this moment between these two. She looked pretty.
pretty hot right there. Don't remember giving permission for guests. It's for you, meat pie. Just like the spinsters used to make when you were a boy. Can't stay. Have a lesson to teach. But we just finished our lesson. Not with you, dearie. With Regina. You're still training her. Did you think I was going to stop? You don't need Regina. I'm going to cast your curse. She's not nearly as powerful as me. She doesn't deserve to have you Careful, as a teacher. Careful, What is it your father used to always tell you? No, no, no matter what you feel on the inside, you have to put on a good face. You might want to take his advice. Your insides are starting to show. You're turning green, dearie. Envy will do that to you. Oh, and don't wait up. This could take a while. Have you seen Regina? No, this is a vault. She doesn't get here, so Netwitch could take it out on all of us. We need you to get back to your no, home. I'm Hell no. Anywhere. This show needs an audience. Okay, dress. Out of my way, munchkin. Dwarf. That's even worse. Rude. Where is she? Don't tell me. She's a coward. Well, this isn't good for any of you. If my sister's not here in five minutes, I'm going to let the Dark One off his leash. She evil. Who do you want to kill first, Rumble? I'm going to fight someone, Zelina. Fight me. I'm not an amateur. I'm the savior. Here, someone's got an inflated sense of self-worth. Anybody else want to give it a go? I do. I was beginning to think you were going to show up. I still have one question. The hell did I ever do to you? You were born. I've been waiting to do that all day. Girl fight! Don't make a sound. <laughs> Surprise, dearie! Jealousy drives people to do crazy things. Oh my god. Consider it a test. One, you fail. Well, I appreciate your efforts, dearie, but my friend, you just disqualified yourself. Casting the curse has a price. You'll have to give up the thing you love most. I can do that. The thing you love most is me. I think I love you. You're insane. Besides the point. <laughs> it's okay. I have that effect on women. And that, dearie, makes you too dangerous. Regina has the job. You might want to get that checked out. <laughs> I'll find another way to give you what you want. I could have taken you there. How? These slippers. And they can take you anywhere you want to go. It's too late. <laughs> Who says it's too late? I am not naive. There is only one way. Oh, forget these slippers from me. You'll have to kill me. Well, if I must. <laughs> oh. I'll see you again, dearie. Oh, no, Next you time. used the dearie? <laughs> should have chosen me. You're jealous of me? Oh. You still don't realize what you had, but I'm gonna take it all from you! Uh-huh, you better watch it. <laughs> you can't beat me, little sis. Everything Rumpelstiltskin taught you, he taught me too. Hell no. Kill me. I never said I wanted to kill you. I said I wanted to destroy you. I need your heart. <laughs> Not in there. <laughs> Where is it? Her mother taught me one thing. Never bring your heart to a witch fight. Something you'd know if she hadn't abandoned you. Oh! I will get your heart. I'll get everything you ever had. Not today. <laughs> Regina is a badass. You're Still alive, aren't I? Gold disappeared. We thought that meant she defeated me. Hardly. Turns out Zelina wanted my heart. Good thing I wasn't stupid enough to bring it with me. Any idea why she wants it? She got your courage and wants my heart. Those are ingredients. For what, a curse? We're already in story, bro. What else could she do to us? Did the plan work? That depends. Is it still here? Right where you left it. Hopefully she's not following you. And it worked. I just needed to find the one thing I had that Zelina didn't. My heartless mother. My sister was right about something. She said I don't always realize what I have right in front of me. What's that? You, baby. Just that I didn't always appreciate things. Would you mind holding on to this for a bit longer? You're really going to entrust something so valuable to a common thief like me? You can't steal something that's been given to you. You still owe me that drink? Yes, I suppose I do. Okay. Thanks, Killian. Okay. You can go out on your boat again sometime. Anytime, love. Hey. I'm the queen fair against the witch. She survived. The rest is definitely more than a doorway conversation. Thanks for taking him. It's more pain your boy than you realize. He needs to know about his father, Emma. You can't just take him back to New York when this is over and pretend like none of this is real. Thanks again. What, no meat pie? Rude. She's clever, Rumple. So am I. Regina's heart is somewhere in this town, matter of time before I find it. It won't change anything. If I had to do it all again, I'd still choose Regina. Would you know? I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. I'm afraid I don't understand. We are doing it all over again. What I'm casting isn't a curse. It's a second chance. <laughs>
A second I learned some chance. tricks while I was gone. You showed me my past. Now take me there. To the moment my mother abandoned me, that's when it all went wrong. I need to go back and change it. You want to travel back in time? Change the past. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm afraid that's impossible. I thought you were the great and terrible Oz. Even my power has its limits. You're telling me. Uh, don't hurt me, please! Who are you? Uh, my, my name is Walsh. Uh, I'm, I'm just a circus huckster. I'm a showman. I, I come from a distant land, a place called Kansas. You're not even a wizard. It's all part of the act. What I peddle is real. Those slippers took you to the enchanted forest, didn't they? I may not have magic, but the things I collect do. That's why you wanted me to bring you something of Rumpelstiltskin's. Oh. I didn't mean any harm. I was trying to help us both. What you seek doesn't exist. Well then, I have no use for you. At least not like that. Like what? What I need is someone who's willing to do whatever I ask without question. Flying fucking monkey! Like a trained circus animal. Uh, you are you. Not evil, dear. Wicked. Wicked. Ah! <laughs> Much better. Now come, if I'm going to find a way to change the past... Those things are creepy as fuck! To do. Well done, Regina. You've been practicing. You're shaping up to be the best pupil. I ever have. We'll see about that. When I'm done, Regina, you have never even been born. No! I am loving this, like, second half of season three. I really enjoyed the first half. Like, the pan shit was awesome. I really enjoyed that as well. But... I feel like the second half is just like next level to me. I love the direction of the story. I love the twists. I Walsh was out of sight, out of mind. I didn't even think about his ass. I did not think he was going to be the fucking wizard. This shit is wild. And then we have a Regina versus fucking Zelina showdown. Sign me up for more of that. This is so good. And I love that moment. The like uh, hook t Killian taking uh, Henry under his wing and and just spending time with him and trying to be a positive uh, influence and, and let him know about his dad and stuff. That's I love that. My heart is warm. I love this show. I can't wait to see what happens next. Let me know what y'all thought about this one and I'll see you on the next one. Go Regina.